It's whiskey time, it's game time. Ah, taste that sweet Midgar small. <laughs> Smell that dairy air. This way. Stephen King's Ed. Never read that book. Yeah, there's some weird stuff in there. Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> I actually... Grappling guns. Oh, like hey. You can practically fly with the souped-up motors on these babies. Another one? It Sector didn't work out so well for Cloud. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. So did Corneo use them? I don't know. But they're one-way tickets. Basically, make so sure you start up, that mission before you leave. There's no coming leave. back. Ah, uh, and get you that song. You should probably get yeah. your affairs in order, just in case. <laughs> Write your will, Cloud. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone too. That right. Avalanche, but for some reason, our symbol is a beagle that. and an army helmet. <laughs> Me too. They're known for avalanches. <laughs> obvious. <laughs> it's quite obvious. Why couldn't you say it? Instead of it, that's as American as apple pie. Boy, Let's that's go. as avalanche as a beagle. Might as well do that. <sighs> yep. And then that's all side missions completed. Yep. Yep. Everyone is ahead of us. Oh, let me see you. Gifts for an angel. Gifts for an angel. Oh. Sector 7 rebuilt. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? No. Oh. Her, huh? No, you know who she is. Just her go between. Bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can do something. Hey. Hey. <laughs> there we so go. So you had no option to like just take it and run, huh? Nope. So that's all side missions completed. That's it. Yeah. We played the whole dang game. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> we don't need to play anymore. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, cool. Whatever. Well, hmm. Here's the thing about that. That's pretty short, honestly. Compared to, you paid $60 for the original FF7, which was three discs. Should we go back to the shop? And while the folks from Walmart this will be split into three games, games, you'll have to pay 60 bucks a piece for each game. It also depends on if they're going to put in the DLC in. DLC that costs money? I have no idea. Mm, that bothers me greatly. <laughs> Look, the thing is, this game is about so far, we're gonna have 30 something hours into it. Okay, so and you're the other paying game... two bucks an hour. What? You're paying two bucks an hour. But the other game, think of it. We had, I remember we were around 46, 45 hours. That's just to do all the side plot, basically mate chocobos and race. The same damn race every effing time. <laughs> Wayne, did they, oh, what was that? There's something on the ground. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's a material. Hmm. What did the letter say? Ah. <clears throat> oh, I can't do it either. What? Huh. I guess Ready you have to, to do this? Graphic. Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. You mean for... We did literally everything there is to And do. the problem with FF7, the original, it was so heavy grind, it was mostly grind. Yeah, like, okay. grind this materia to get this type of materia so you could have more no. materia. Grind that. Okay, I mean, cool. you could do that, so, but... When this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you. Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. <laughs> Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. <laughs> All this, it ain't you. 
Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Yeah, I didn't get insecurities. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... I <laughs> didn't see it when we were kids. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <laughs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. How much would a grappling gun like that hurt your arm in real life? Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> this has a little more like there's talk, there's a little more. The characters feel. Yeah, but okay. Here's what I liked about having overworld maps is you'd I'd, be walking along and you'd stumble into a place that wasn't a part of the plot. I do like the overworld stuff. I do like that. I it think they should bring that more back. Free. The problem is when it's all about the first disc or the first thing, which was Midgar. Oh boy, Midgar was a lot of it. Kick some Shinra ass and <laughs> save the planet. An Go hour. to save the girl while kicking hours, all Shinra you ass and get out. You didn't have any materia. Uh, you like could really get in your equipment. Copy. You just had the same basic shit for the longest time, and then they're like, oh, okay, good point there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're on the top. Uh, yeah, be careful. Right. No telling what's going to collapse or win. Maybe we'll find uh, Jesse Raspberry's parents. Don't worry, sweetie. Everything Ramon will be okay. Raspberry. I'm not making this up. His name is Ramon Raspberry. Oh, you are the one obsessed with I just. You give me a new character and her last name is Raspberry? I just. I don't know. Mm -mm. This one. is a lot more devastating. I hope you knew that we're on top. Finally. I think it did come up and start being rich. <laughs> you guys might want to turn around. A friend of ours needs help. It's too dangerous. For you, maybe. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you gotta. <laughs> I, I get that. He's like, fine, just go die, whatever. Yeah, I miss Overworld, I like a little bit more exploration. The problem is, like something with Red Dead, there's too much exploration. I disagree with that completely. Oh, that yeah, was a mystery I can, bunch. I can skin 50 things and do all this stuff. I and it's just like, that's just too much ambition. There you is don't a have balance. To do it. I know, but there is it needs to be a balance between that. And if it's games like these, that's what you need. With this one, I do like a little aesthetic that you get to each place, get to do a little quest, and you get to know people. What? Yeah, fine. Okay. Nothing new. Okay, I think games with overworlds are dead for now. Uh, there'll be a retro time when they bring it back. Sure, and it's there. just, it's hard to make an overworld when the graphics are like this. Like, what, what is it going to look like? <laughs> just think of it. You've got great graphics that you go like to the overworld. It'll look like satellite imagery. It'll be a zoom out of the world. But then you don't really need to walk your character down. It's just, here I go. Right behind you. What? It can still, it can still talk to you the same way. But then you'd have to have random encounters. Because again, it's not a play style that people are designing in No, and random battles don't need to be too much. Yeah, I kind of hated how every full step it would like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then you would always be like. Not so fast. Uh, and you'd always find that one equipment that would stop. The, uh, the over the uh, random battles from being too hard or yeah. showing up. So it's just like with that you were random encounters. Yeah, it's like what? So I mean, that was a mechanic that I didn't mind, except for when you try to get someplace and then you're like, ah, oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah, you just need to get here. And then there's a grown encounter. Oh, you don't really have that sense of like, I just need to get there. You're just like, oh, okay, I guess I go forward on this little map. And then in this little section, I go sideways or whatever, you know. You just go from place to place. And it's, I don't know, I guess people nowadays, they're like, oh, you can't afford to lose focus. What you just said, I am exploring a, a lot. I yeah. Lot of stuff. I feel, it, should there be more? Yes. Is this an experiment? The, uh, the first, I think this is the first one of the experiment. Okay, so... This is all exploring one city, so it makes sense to have it be a series of interconnected mini-maps. 
but when you're going to other larger places, like farther away, I'm just wondering how they're going to do that. And it would feel really up. narrow to me sure to think of had another series of mini maps that were interconnected. Yeah. If you don't have some kind of overworld, yeah. and you don't really sort of have a chance to use the airship, it feel like there's a wide world that you get to explore. Instead, it's just like narrow mini map to mar narrow mini map. Like these are all just tiny passageways you're taking from place to place. It's great, and the background is obviously a, a extensive world, but I don't feel like any of it can be explored. Yeah. True. I mean, the limitations of the old, the old style, oh and then what you can do right now is just like, oh, there's a lot you can do, but the problem is, when you flesh out something, it takes so much data to get back, and then you're like, okay, well, now I have to, something has to be sacrificed. So it's like good and bad. I want people like I love the design of games. This is beautiful. Yeah. They did a good job. And maybe it's just me that gets claustrophobic on this style of games where I'm like, I don't know, you check your map and you're like, okay, there's a valley, they like yeah. go down and like, See, I have the opposite. Like gameplay right now is exhausting. Really? They, it's just too huge, it's just too much. Oh, how is this? You hit this perfect thing, you hit this perfect thing, and I'm like, oh my god, I like the plot and everything is cool. I cannot play it for long before I'm just like, ugh. Have you tried? Yeah, I tried with the first one. Oh, I love those games. No, I mean, they're good games. It's just, it is exhausting. It's just exhausting when you do it. You just want to go on it. I guess, yeah, and that's something as I have grown older and I have other things I need to do, I can't sit down and watch a 30 minute cutscene in a video game anymore. I'm like, alright, I want it loaded, I just want to play for a couple of, like, you know, I have an hour, I just want to play and then yeah. I'm done. But, um, games like that are so immersive, you need days. Exactly, and that's like, like Final Fantasy is an immersive, yes, but it's at the same time. It allows you break time. Like, okay, you did yeah. something, you could do something else, or just, you know, whatever. So that's this really is a good time? one for casual gaming. Yeah, and, and casual gaming is fine. I don't like extreme gaming too much. We've made it through worse. Not anymore. I, I, yeah, no I used to be able it's to be a we have Mega Man 2 under, under 30 minutes. what? Mega Man 2 oh, okay. under 30 minutes. I could have done that. Yeah. I was One so good at that game, I could do it. Can I do that you might anymore? Be able to climb up here. practice, sure. But you don't have the time. Anymore. I don't have the time, and I don't really need to show people I can do that. <laughs> it's cool, but it's not, you know, whoop de doo <laughs> Like, I like story, I like immersion, and when you have too much on the side where it's like, well, you could go through the story, but you might want to upgrade yourself, and then there's like 20 different side missions, and something, and you're like, oh god, you have to upgrade this gun, okay. It's like, it's good for a while, then after that, I'm just... It depends on how it's presented. Yeah, and, and just Red Dead Redemption, I love it, but it can be just too much. And this, it's fine. Yeah. Do would do I wish later in other ones they add more? Yes. But they've added so much to the first disc. The other ones just gotta be crazy what they're adding. Yeah. Just don't know how to integrate them. Exactly. They gotta be their own separate game. Maybe? Who knows? They're all the helicopter jet. Yeah, you do good with flying uh, enemies. We can take them. <laughs> he has such optimism. Stay on mission. Stay on target. And plus, this is just this character development and how to talk and everything. Oh, yeah, I love it's that. It's just so good. Yeah. Like, like, I want Final Fantasy to make their own ones, but take this and old Final Fantasy because it's an a good story and everything. This is a good remake of something, but remember all the things that the old ones did that made it this good. Oh, yeah. So, well, I mean, we were talking about that in the last episode. Yeah. We're like, okay, well, voice acting came about because of FF10, which back then it was still to be kind of weird and awkward and whatever. Yeah. But, now they did so much better. Like, I have no complaints about what I can do. I don't know what you do. 
No, I, I like at first when I saw a few of the uh, trailers for it, I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was very que I questioned it a lot. So yeah. then when it's uh, I started playing it and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. you know, just over the time, I was like, oh, this is not as any person. Yeah. I, I mean, there was a game the voice acting. Hello. Like this. Um, don't get what that's you it. should do is laugh. Ha 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 oh, ha, yeah. ha 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 <laughs> ha 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 And you're just kind of like, alright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I kind of know what you were trying to go with there, but at the same I time. forgot about that. At the same time. They were just cringy little cutscenes. Yeah. This and, guy again. And you had to watch Come on, we need to get inside. Yeah, like the hundred percent thing is not. That doesn't seem to be a thing in this one. Well, apparently like there's that. only a few things you can do while if you go on hard mode, but you have to the game to do that first. Uh, but I don't think they add too much to the story. Yeah, I doubt they add to the story at all. <laughs> yeah, and I, <laughs> it's I don't want to do want challenges like all the time yeah. with playing a game. Sometimes I just want to play the damn game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Dark Souls, I just wanna hate myself. <laughs> like, well, like Dark Souls, I like it because it's, it's a one time where it's so weird. Uh -huh. It like it has all this history if you read each item, and then when you kill the boss, you're like, wait, that item had a poke from that boss. That doesn't make any sense. So you're just oh. like, so they're all interconnected. Yeah, there's a huge interconnection. It makes it so interesting. But it's, it's just a lot. I have That's CRT the CRT television from uh, 2006 that I used to play these games on. Which actually, I don't think supports the PS4 anymore. <laughs> like, I have no way of connecting it to that. So then I have like an old computer monitor from 2008 <laughs> that I connect my games to. It's not a great setup, but you know, it works for games more or less. Until there's anything that involves any kind of reading. <laughs> and then I'm like, Okay, I gotta get out of magnifying glass and figure out. Oh well, I guess the Lord's dead. Like, <laughs> I just don't know anything. And then my eyes hurt when I first But, yeah, I mean, there was a time when the eye was above that. But, and it's like, it has, just has to be well done. It doesn't come far. Dark Souls, you don't need to do that to appreciate the game. It's like, hey, the little game just had all this time. Here's what you can do for the time. Well, you don't get any codes though where you like, oh, you want to see a double. Input this code next time you play. And yeah. You start here. No, it's not that. I love that. <laughs> Actually, no, I hate that. I love saves. <laughs> yeah, I love saves, and that's what it had. So. But I remember back when we used to play Mega Man, we'd have little scraps of things for them that have all our like, save data on them. Like, yeah. All the codes that we would put in. Ah, those. I'm glad we're not there. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, we're I, I, If they had have a whole bunch of codes, oh. just it, nope. <laughs> I would just look them up online. Okay, let's, uh, let's strike code for this. <laughs> These are my materials, so what do I have to put? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. It has come a long way. It has come a long way. That's why I, just, I love Overworld. But when it comes back, I want it to be done correctly. Oh, okay, what's correctly? Well, just how big everything is. If you go to the overworld and they're this size, and it's like, the town is only 20 feet away! Doot, I'm doot, doot. You. I'm like, alright, come on. But you zoom out like you would on like Google Maps, right? It's like an actual satellite view of the world. So it's just the top view. And, then you, and it, you can choose your route or whatever to get to different places. And it can bring you through different can side towns. That would be neat. I, I mean, uh, that could be just yeah, so yeah. Cool. The only problem is the battle system and the traffic. Ex exactly. And, that, and that's why it's like, it's, it's gotta be looked. There's gotta be a tester game for it. And hopefully, uh, after that test, everyone can look at it and go, okay, this is what we need to do. Yeah. And hopefully, yeah. it goes well. That's all we can hope for. <laughs> I'm sure the... Hey look, I had a lot of doubts about this game, but I find it to be one of... Yeah. 
I wonder like, what like diehard fans think of it. Are they saying? Uh, so far, everyone's like the pretty. Uh, most complaints were at the battle system, but it's like <laughs> when you play a bit more, you're like, okay, it's a little more complicated. I just yeah. tried the battle system, and the only, like, the biggest problem I had is that uh, uh, you have to tilt the camera as you're fighting your enemies. Um, but as, if you use the right hand, if you do that, you're also locking on to different enemies, really annoying. <laughs> the camera is quite smooth. No, I thought she lived in Sector 8. Oh, Sector 8. Yeah, so in the Sector 7 is what she was So her and mother I... is having a bad day. Yeah, but she's not dead. What? The mother? The no. mother. Well, Jessie... She doesn't know that her daughter's dead. Uh... Yeah, the mother's having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, she didn't know that she lived in Sector 7. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 That's what she's taking care of the, like, vegetable dad. Like, okay. <laughs> Real cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. See, it's just... And, that's, and the off chance that he ever does wake up, she'll have to be the one who's like, Yeah, I think your daughter's dead. Okay. If he ever wakes up. I said the off chance. Boy, that's between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, it's coming just all depressing for her right there. there is My daughter is dead. Because the place goes for a shower. Yeah. She doesn't even know. And the then truth. what happened if Shinra just shows, oh yeah, she was a terrorist? Yeah. What, <laughs> like, what did she do after that? Oh, oh, you thought she was in some kind of theater troupe? Lies! Lies. She's a terrorist. And it's, oh, just. Yeah. Yeah, that would be tough. Like, the character development they did with Jesse and all of them? It, it was worth it, it. yeah. yeah. Lucky I scared you. Oh, it was good. Slug rays? You've got the slug, all those slug ray bees. Yeah, that's what I was doing to them before. Uh, uh. <laughs> Boy. Oh, shock rays. That's what we got. That's a win. Did you ever assess those sword soldiers? Yeah, I did. Okay. I started to show Obsessive compulsive uh, assessing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. Say that three times fast. <laughs> we go to that corner. It's a box or something. Uh, yeah. Uh, something. <gasps> Wait, is that the way further? Because there's stairs right here. Hmm. Why wouldn't you take the stairs? Try the stairs. It'll collapse on you. No, no, I think the corner is something you can't go to unless we shoot there. Shoot there! Shoot there! There are a lot of things that uh, affected you <laughs> as a child. Um, Jurassic Park. I think you have been wrong. I think so, and there's no way back down. You fool! Damn. 
You'll never know what was in that stairwell. A free Bahamut summit? Probably. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's do a cloud? Walking backwards. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty crushed up, that six or seven. Think about the factory we tried to clean out. That's uh, clean now. Yeah, <laughs> it certainly is. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's something here. Oh. Oh. Oh! A treasure chest. This was the, the way I wasn't supposed to go. I was right! <laughs> An <laughs> enchanting <laughs> ring! That's that. <laughs> That's not the right one. An enchanted ring. I bet you it's something useless! Magic ring that snares the heart and mind of any who look upon it. Extends the duration of beneficial status effects applied by wearer. Yeah. Dumb. Oh, for Jane. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. yeah it's just going back to the uh, stair area. Uh, See? Stereo. Stereo. Stairs. <laughs> what do you call that when you put two words together? I was gonna call it a panel. Pa uh, I was gonna call it nothing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> a stroke? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> don't take me to a hospital. I can't afford it. <laughs> we are the shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daddy, kick ass! Hey, hey. Oh, I was gonna say Talon, but that's not like. Pull up. Race car. Yes. Yeah. Blast. Blast it, right here. Our hook was still Yep. Nice. Yeah. It's worth it. Worth the look. Whoa. What kind of radius? Yeah. I have a I have a I have a I have a I I Oh yeah, anything you can Like this? Yes. That was a good one. Sure, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they said that before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's nothing. <laughs> I appreciate healthy sarcasm. And even unhealthy sarcasm. Sarcasm in all forms. They're pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Only language I speak. Timmy is in love. Nope. <laughs> Your sarcasm, cynicism, anything negative, I can speak. Yeah, it makes much more sense. Unfortunately, I can't put that down on my resume. <laughs> I've tried. I don't know which job you <laughs> Resume. Anything that deals with authority figures. <laughs> You'd be the world's worst guard. I agree with the friggin' prison mates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're charging them how much to read? That's dumb. <laughs> stupid, you're <Yeah>. stupid. <laughs> oh, how dare you educate yourselves and try to integrate with society. We need your money. We need your money. Also, I hate you. Yep. <sighs> You didn't know I was so sympathetic to prisoners, did ya? Look at all them dead people. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just purely you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was better either way. Like, just look how huge that is. Yeah, I guess. It's like uh, those old Hollywood movies when you know that they had a painted backdrop. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. Like, you're in a giant studio. I've had more than enough to keep me going today. It is cool. I like what you like. I like the aesthetic. It's like a, I like those old drawings they had for the old drawings. That's the only way. Yeah. Like, they were tapestries to me, like old ancient tapestries <laughs> made by people. That's what it kind of looked like. Yeah. They looked like they belonged on this. Yeah, you know. like the Book of Kells or 
tapestry, that. I guess. <laughs> I don't know I any Nicola names. is not a tapestry. I know. Thank you for that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know the names of those tapestries, but there's one really important one that everybody should know about. And I know that it exists, I just don't know its name. That's I don't cool. know. Grappling hook to a ladder. There's a ladder. Yeah, broken. Yeah, I see that. Use your super jump cloud. Nope, I'm going back. Bite, bite, bopalus, yopalus, 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 Like the British people call being nasty. Oh, I have a bit of What is wrong with you right now? <laughs> you made me cake. Introduce our father. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, we took him to see X Men. Was it two? I think it's, uh, two. Yeah. And so they have, you know, Mystique in there. Dad very much notices half naked women in movies. <laughs> and so he goes, Who's that blue girl? I said, That's Mystique. And he goes, Bluey? I said, Mystique. And he goes, Blue girl? <laughs> but it's a mistake. <laughs> Enraptured by the stage, but he has this horrible habit of talking right in the middle of movies. Isn't that annoying when people just talk in the middle of movies like that? <laughs> the apple does not fall far. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Why else did you invite me here? What else am I contributing? Not much. I have to speak. You're not very good at hiding. Wait, it doesn't shoot! <laughs> what are you doing? It has a little burst thing, so it just... Yeah! One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. I don't know I just do that. That one's just you know, that was just <laughs> I got nothing for this Yeah. One. Can you dodge roll? Nope. I cannot dodge roll. Dodge rolling is my favorite thing. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that was a cool game. I typically made it so that you're faster dodge rolling than doing anything else. I would love that game, simply for that mechanic. Speaking of games I love for really stupid reasons, clock! You remember clock? Don't ever speak of that oh, stupid no. ass game again. I was thinking of clock earlier today. It was like, what was that game even about? You're like a little executioner anti guy. Executioner! <laughs> like, where did the executioner go? No, that's his head! <laughs> Oh, it looks like a... That's his head! Oh my god! He's wearing a hood! <laughs> I 
don't know what else he is. He's got little boots and arms and chest and hit enemies. I love Clark. I love Clark so much. And you hated that game. I hate that game. I hate that game too. It was a good game. It was not a good game. Well, it was bad about it. It had a catchy little scene. He was on an island with a harmonica. Because I was gonna get it. It was the very game. first game I purchased because you were gonna throw it away, and I was like, no! <laughs> Where's the game now, Julia? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> that was my first video game! God! Block. Five years old. If anyone want to give dollars. my sister a present, <laughs> email <Block. laughs> Just contact us through YouTube and, <laughs> and give us Block. <laughs> Please! Block is great. <laughs> oh. You know what? <laughs> because of that, now they're just remake clock. They better. Give a instead of FF7 the remake, I want a clock the remake. <laughs> Give them this intriguing backstory, like I lost both my arms and both my legs. <laughs> but you start with this. I have these strange mechanical attachments that shoot them out of my my torso. <laughs> and I hate giant lip people. <laughs> <laughs> just giant, like, legs. I remember. What? Were they lips or was that just a weird shape of head? I'm not sure why things were the right The character were. design was baffling, but you know what? It was also intriguing. I asked as many questions. No, I asked more questions than were ever answered. And that, I think, is a rarity in today's writing. No. Yeah, no, it is. Most writing will answer more questions than you ask these days. Uh, or like, sometimes they think they've that. answered a question, and really they may cause more questions because of how bad. <laughs> that just raises further questions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your scientific accuracy now? <laughs> that was an extra nerdy joke because that was David X. Cohen. Uh, commentary for Futurama, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've only seen the first one. And then the, the very, very last finale, which I was not. No, that was a stupid finale. I was like, what? Yeah, I know some people were like, oh, it was a really stupid No, the, the opera one was so much better. The opera one was a better finale. Oh. Because, okay. Far superior. Here's first of all, Dad Casanella comes in. Oh, yeah. The robot, the robot devil. devil. It's got this famous, like, Faust sort of, like, storyline going on. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, oh. <laughs> of your mother's eyes, Mother Earth. <laughs> <sighs> Just watch the devastating scene. <laughs> I can't. Uh. I can't. <laughs> That's what we're yeah. worried about. People got something to drink about now. We never got underneath the bar. Yeah. You'll but... help too, won't you? As you go, we go. For a price. <laughs> Look at your character has come full circle. You're a dick again! <laughs> oh no, he'll be even more of a dick probably after this. <laughs> well, I, after this I can't blame him as much. He has a full mental breakdown. Like, his mental breakdown, like, now enough stuff has happened to you, you're like, yeah, okay, his mental breakdown is way more tragic as a bit than <laughs> yeah, like, they did a really good job of fleshing out the characters. I am attached to every character that's introduced, so it was. <laughs> Even the bad guys, I'm like, oh, yeah. Even Sephiroth as he talks through his hands. <laughs> they cannot see you. I know, but maybe they can hear me talking through my head. <laughs> 
Sonic. How is this different than any of the other giant robot monsters? I don't know. Oh, the jumping rail is not yeah. to our convenience. Okay, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to kill, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if the music is still by Noblo Matsu. I don't like the newer music as much. That's just me being a snob. The newer music is me. Really it doesn't have to be a little Or there's like one ear worm in the Walmart and it's like literally a little bit of a snob. You just gotta go over here. Yeah. I really can't do it. Uh, but he has a melee. Uh, no. I'm shooting right now! Yeah. Physically! No, but that's maximum. Yeah, oh. I, I'm actually shooting it! Oh, okay. Well, then you can weapons when I was left That's all. We established that. We chased the weapon during the cold arrow thing. Had the lightning hit. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. <laughs> I think it does. Ah. You're on separate beams. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder to bear. <laughs> uh, oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you dick! <laughs> that was my favorite character! <laughs> yeah, I don't remember, like, bear it when I first the first game or whatever, I was like, oh yeah, he's loud and he's angry all the time. Yeah, that's But it. now I'm like, okay, he's thinking some good points. Maybe it's just I've gotten louder and angrier over time. <laughs> I identify with him more. <laughs> I... I don't know. Maybe it's just a good point. Ow! Just in time. <laughs> 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 the Valkyrie. I was like, oh boy, I've got this great idea for me. It's gonna have a bunch of helicopter blades that can easily decapitate anybody working on it. It's gonna have Gatling guns and a gigantic drill. And they're like, okay, what is this gonna be used for? It's a defense drill. Okay, so why does it have a drill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I just wanna know, what is this function here? Why the drill? I, I, you think the Gatling guns alone would be good for this giant century drone? I don't know, Julia. I'm not convinced that the colors like that. I just see them not interlocking properly. We have a lot of potential to do. Yeah. They're awesome. Kick the crap out of that guy. Yeah, not that. <laughs> this was only his first roar. What? What the hell? Nuclear bomb. Oh, wait. I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad Leviathan is still around. Leviathan. Can you target anything else? Yeah. But it has a beam shooting at me, huh? Oh, that's oh. a giant death-dealing laser! Oh, that ain't so bad. That makes sense. Hello? Yeah, no. Oh, that's a good design. You feel so bad. I don't understand that. Again, the propeller is so good. I'm enjoying the rainbow system. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. Ah, no. We no, must find I, I, appreciate creature design. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still surprised that there were no little things out of the house. Little 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 out of the worst. All of these guys were when I was out of the house. You don't get the Viathan until you're Oh, he's gonna get hit by Lincoln. <laughs> There's a fire and blade. <laughs> 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 I'm 
Nothing we can find. <laughs> I have said plenty actually. You said too much. <laughs> you can't contribute. I, I contribute with size and disappointment. <laughs> I don't feel like that's anything more than your normal. <laughs> Oh, okay, up. and it's like Waka is now her love interest uh, uh, afterwards. They're like, so alike. Waka? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You here? <laughs> Waka, yeah, Waka. you know. All right, you know. I uh, bet you know. You know. <laughs> yeah. oh. Like he ended every sentence of this. <laughs> I mean, play through the game at least once. You should. Yeah, yeah. They, they all have something to control. Eight doesn't. But most of them have something. No, Eight has great music. Eight does have <laughs> And it has Laguna. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're not even going to get the context of that. Stop. That's Laguna's theme. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and yeah, the Beast Trick. But it didn't have taste. I'm going to smash the building <laughs> to pieces. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna see Red 13 soon. Do you think? Is it so easy? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Joelle. You know? <laughs> You're having a stroke? Well, we've already established I can't afford to go to a hospital. <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> Gotta Just say, the I can't believe I've done this is a lost cause. Red 13's in this? Yes. You just can't play it. Oh. Some lost causes are worth fighting for. No, no, I, I see. That, yeah. <laughs> I'm liking Barrett more and more. He's like, you know what? We need more bears in this world. So, yeah. I've got Absolutely. As long as it's, you know, actually good to do Well, I mean, maybe minus the terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go on record saying I do not advocate terrorism. I do not advocate terrorism. Though many people would be surprised by my stance on that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, blowing up a reactor is bad. Just gonna say that. <laughs> what if a reactor should happen to blow up naturally? Would I feel all that terrible about it? No. <laughs> you know Which why? Me, I need to watch Chernobyl. 
The biggest problem is, you know, it's the poor people and the workers that aren't making anything that are suffering from all this terrorism anyway. Yeah. But Shinra isn't bothered at all. They're like, whatever. Okay, exactly. just throw more poor people at it. Go. <laughs> yeah. We got plenty of them. So it's like, you gotta fight the right way, and yeah. that's hard to do against that kind of yeah. Even if you do fight the right way, the little guy is gonna get sold for the rest. They have the resources, and the resources are people. Yeah, what about the ceasefire? That only put the war on pause. The economy is people! <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> You know what? I still made it out. <laughs> you increased the dramatic tension too much! <laughs> yeah, too much. I think we made out like we did time. fine. Yeah, yeah like it was like... not an issue. Hardly at all. But I sure had a connection to it. And I still do. You always have one. Fit! <laughs> 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 what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I've never had a conniption shit in my life! <laughs> I can see the vending machine. Look! Nothing Ooh. new! Wanna make sure. What do you do? Know what happens when you assume you you're missed out on ass. music discs! What? Yeah, I said you're being an ass. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you missed out on music discs. <laughs> you know what people won't be missing out on? The end of this episode is right now! <laughs> <laughs> be sure to not miss the end! <laughs> they certainly went away without that conversation. 